everyone, I'm Allie, and join me in making this cute little wreath pendant using some of our Potomac exclusives designed by the lovely Melissa from our customer care team. So to begin our fun wreath here, and this was designed again by Melissa in our customer care team. Usually she works with wire and I love that she branched out and worked with some thread and needle. And we're gonna be working with disc duos. The total of 21 disc duos to make up the wreath. You can obviously make this smaller or bigger. Melissa does have the green luster and the Aztec gold there. I'm gonna be using some more traditional colors for my wreath with some jet red luster, yes, that is green, along with metallic emerald and lava red for my berries. I also have two colors of 11 O's. The 11 O's are gonna be my wreath here in the red, in that red opaque luster, and then in the gold going through for that outer garland. I'm working with a size 10 needle and some .006 green dragon thread. The first thing I wanna do is pick up a bead that is not gonna be part of my wreath and I am going to make a stop bead on this four feet of thread. Going through two times, taking the thread through that 6-0. From here, I'm going to simply pick up a total of 21 beads. So I'm not gonna do this in any sort of pattern. Melissa did hers in a pattern, so I figured I would do mine not in a pattern. Going in here and picking the beads up at random to create my nice wreath effect having the berries every once in a while and my beads right next to each other and going in a nice organic look. So I'm gonna pick up all 21 of those, put them on my thread, let them drop down to the base of my stop bead there, and then we're gonna get ready to make that into a loop. After those 21 beads are on here, and again, you can use more or less up to you, I'm gonna take my needle and thread back through the first two of my disc duos through that same first hole. We're gonna round this out and then make it more into that wreath shape by having the option to go through the interior and the exterior of our beaded holes here. The first thing I'm gonna do is step up from that bottom hole into the top hole, and we're gonna circle around with all of the thread going through the second hole of every disc duo bead. So you'll notice I left a little bit of give there next to the stop bead. So that way, as I rounded this out, some of that little extra thread that is showing, that makeup will go pull through and pull that tight. So again, just right around through all the disc duos, make sure you're not missing any, through that second hole. So you'll see a tiny bit of thread exposed on this outer hole, but that'll pull us into that nice leaf shape. And then as we go in and we add our little seed beads of garland, It'll hide any extra thread that you may see. If you want to and you have them close by and handy, you can add a 15-0 in there, but you do not need to again, especially when you're using green thread with green beads to create a green wreath. So again, just making sure as you pull them all, you see that it wants to kind of bend funky. That's where I left that extra rather than tying it in a knot. And I'm going through adding my second strand of thread through the exterior of all 21 of those beads. So I now have two strands of thread going around all of my disc duos. I'm gonna pop back into the interior and do this little part of the garland first and then go to the exterior and do those two loops. So to go into the interior, I'm gonna take my thread and needle once again from the outside hole to the inside hole. I'm coming out through this first jet red luster one there. I'm gonna add five of my gold seed beads to my thread, and again, I'm using Miyuki Duraco Galvanized Gold. Skip over the next disc duo, and sew through the bottom hole of the third one there in line. Just kind of ignore your stoppy there. Make sure that it's out of the way. You don't want it affecting it. Coming out of that disc duo, once again, five beads get added. Skip over the next one in line, and go into the next interior one. And you can see how that's starting to pull that down and push those other disc duos to the top. So once again, five beads go on, skip over the next one, and into the next. Go ahead and work your way around the whole interior of the loop, adding in those seed beads till we get back to the start of that little garland area. When you get finished with your interior line there, you're gonna notice that you're coming together at the top here, uh, which is gonna be at the bottom, which our wreath is going to, or our little bow is going to be at. And you'll notice you have two beads right away that are next to one another. Like I said, those will be the bottom. We're gonna grab another disc duo and our wreath, little 
bell bottom will sit from there. What I'm going to do now is we're going to the exterior. So our needle and thread is going from that interior hole of that disc duo to the exterior. We're going to repeat the same thing on the exterior here, adding in a little bit of that garland. For the exterior, instead of five beads, we're gonna go in and do seven because it's gonna push it out more. So you're gonna take a trip the whole way around. You're gonna add in seven beads and go into the next hole of the disc duo after the next one in line. So right there. Again, seven beads. Skip over the next one, go into the following. So we're gonna go the whole way around the wreath, adding in those seven beads as we skip towards the exterior. When we get back to this start here, we're actually gonna start and do it again, but out of that extra bead. So go ahead with me and do those seven beads around the exterior, and then we'll get ready to do another trip around the wreath with seven more, connecting the ones that don't have the beads currently on top. So I'm getting ready now that I'm back to that start, and you can see that start of those beads going kind of towards the top. I'm coming out the last disc duo, and I'm going to skip over that first disc duo that my thread was coming out of, and I'm gonna go into the red disc duo here, which has the first loop of C beads going around. So because we have an odd count or an odd number of beads, this is easily just gonna keep going. So you're not really stopping ever with that group of seven beads to the top. You're just going to skip over and that extra strand of beads, garland is added right to the top of the design. So once again, we're going around here, adding in our groups of seven, skipping over the next bead and sewing through the next one in line. I'm keeping these all to the front. So I'm pushing back the previous seven little piece of garland. And as I add these seven, I'm making sure that it goes to the front. You don't have to, but I'm just keeping it that way for consistency. So whichever bead you didn't sew through previously is the bead that you're sewing through as we wrap around here and add the second row of our garland. When we get back to the start or the bottom here, you're gonna be making your last loop. And then when you come out of here, you're gonna realize, oh, that's my end because I already have seed beads around the entire thing. You'll also be right at that connection point where we have those two disc duos that are the same color and do not have seed beads along the interior. So I'm kind of in between here, but what I'm gonna do is take my needle and thread. So in toward the interior of that disc duo, tighten the thread, and then that gets my whole wreath really locked in and kind of standardized. From here, I'm gonna grab one additional disc duo and I'm choosing to do mine red so it looks like the wreath has a little bit of a red look to it. And we are gonna put that at the top of our disc duo and then we're gonna make a little bow. I'm gonna make my bow a little bit different with some herringbone stitch than Melissa's to make it a little bit thicker in appearance, make it a little bit more substantial. So coming out that disc duo, I want you to add one of your 11 OC beads along with the center of your bow, followed by three 11 OC beads. We're gonna go back through that same disc duo. We're just gonna let those three C beads just kind of hang out at the end there. Put on one more 11 OC bead, and you're gonna sew through the top or the interior hole of the disc duo that's right beside the one that you started with, with your thread coming out. So this is just gonna kind of sit right there, dangling between those two pieces. From here, I'm gonna sew back through the bottom of that same disc duo. So we're reversing the thread there. Thread's going to the bottom. And I'm gonna take my needle and thread and we're gonna connect to this, sewing through those three beads at the base of that disc duo. Once you're through those three beads at the base of the disc duo, we're gonna sew through the disc duo that's beside through the bottom hole. And that's how we're gonna get our disc duo to lay right on top of the center of our wreath there. From here, we're gonna go back through the top, back into that same disc duo here. So I just reversed my thread back through that disc duo, and we want to come out through the bottom hole of that 
red disc duo. I'm just kind of move that stop beat out of the way so you don't see it. So that red disc duo, if you look, is sitting right to the top or the front. Once you're coming out of the bottom of the disc duo, I want you to add one of your gold seed beads followed by 20 red and then another gold. Go back through the top of that disc duo there and sew from the top down towards the bottom to make the first start of a loop. From here, go down through those bottom three gold seed beads, then back up through and we're gonna make a loop on the other side. So we're gonna go back up through here, we're coming out the top this time, and once again, we're gonna repeat. So you're gonna do one gold followed by 20 of your red. And then once you have those on, we're gonna go back through the bottom here and up to the top, and we're gonna then do another little loop on our bell. Coming out the top now, we're gonna repeat the three gold seed beads that sit at the bottom there to make the bow look a little bit bigger. So I'm coming out the top here after doing my loop there of my 20 red and two golds on either side. And I'm gonna sew down through the bottom of the disc duo and also through that first gold bead. That was part of that first loop. You can see this right away, kind of brings that wreath to the forefront, making a little bit more substantial. And what we're gonna do again is add another 20 of our red seed beads. If you want it to be a little bit bigger, you can add a couple more, but you're gonna just keep picking those up. And then once you have that 20 count, we're going to basically repeat what we just did. However, as we repeat what we just did, giving that loop, and honestly, I'm not counting right here. I'm gonna guesstimate my 20, close enough. Going over again through that gold seed bead down through my disc duo. So I'm always going back through those gold and making my secondary loop here. Again, making that loop go on and making it a little bit bigger and more substantial. From here, we're gonna bring three more seed beads on up to the top here, just to once again, make it look a little bit bigger. Sew through the disc duo there at the bottom. Once you're through there, sew through that first gold bead. And then repeat the seed bead loop on this side. I'm running out of thread a little bit because I didn't start with my four just so we could stay in frame but I'm gonna go in here, do my loop, and then we'll get ready to do our little pieces hanging down off the bottom of our wreath. Once you create these secondary loops here, you're going to go back down through that disc duo down to the bottom here, and we are gonna get ready to do our little strings coming out to the bottom of our ribbon. So I'm just gonna pick up, and kind of clean up my mat here, pick up a bunch of my red seed beads from all over, Make my little ribbon coming out there. Pick up a gold seed bead. So back up through that collection of beads. Tighten the thread. And that's gonna be your first little string coming out your piece. We're gonna sew through the three seed beads that we just added along the bottom and we're going to repeat that same string. So we're gonna repeat here coming out the bottom doing that same exact thing. So cleaning up my bead mat more. And it's up to you whether or not you wanna do two strings or four strings coming off your ribbon. Completely, completely up to you. A couple more here. Again, this is your great opportunity to clean up your mat. Add one more gold. And then we're gonna sew again back up through those red seed beads. Once you're back up through those red seed beads, go ahead and take your needle and thread back up through your disc duo to the top of the piece. There's our little ribbons hanging out, coming out the bottom of our bow and our thread, looking so, so cute. If you wanna do a second set, you totally can as well. What I'm gonna concentrate now is going back through that first original 11 OC bead that was behind the red disc duo. I'm gonna jump then back to that first green disc duo, bringing my thread and needle out right near that stop thread or that starter thread. But I'm gonna pass by there. I'm gonna work my thread all the way back up. When you look at your wreath here, you're gonna look up the bead that sits directly above. 
You can, if you want to, just use a wire hanger for the tree. I'm going to sew back up through that little garland row up to the top here, and we're going to step up so that way we can do a little hanger or a little loop at the top of our wreath to hang on. So I've sewn up to the top of the wreath here, and I'm coming out that emerald disc duo. I'm gonna sew from the bottom hole to the top hole of that disc duo, and bring it out toward the back of the design. From here, we're gonna do a little loop for our wreath to hang on. That way we can hang it on our Christmas tree or wrap it onto a little present, which would be super cute as well. I'm just gonna take my gold seed beads, add on three gold seed beads, one red seed bead, followed by however many more you think you need to add to make your loop up to you. This could also be a really cute pendant. Coming down then after the design, I'm going to sew back through that same red bead, making that little loop. Come out, coming out that red bead then, I'm going to grab a couple more of my gold beads just to add three more to the top here and then I'm gonna reinforce this loop. So there's three more, go into that same green disc duo. With your thread was coming out the left-hand side, you're gonna go into the right-hand side there. You can see that just creates that little point to hang it down from. So cute, such a cute design by Melissa. From here, I'm gonna sew down the interior of the design and interior of the piece till I get back to that stop beat and then literally just tie the two threads together. Nice and simple, nice and easy to create this little wreath pendant. Once again, to finish this off, I just sewed through the disc duos right down there to the bottom, excuse me, right to my stop thread, take my starter bead off, just tie the two thread ends together. So nice and simple. Once you have that tied off, you can either cut it or go in with your thread zap or your thread burner and burn those edges down. Burn them flat towards the project. And then your little disc duo wreath is completed for the holiday season. Thanks so much to Melissa from our customer care team coming out with these fun little Christmas quick, easy ornaments, using up some disc duos that you may already have. If you don't have the disc duos on hand, try it with round duos. It'll work just as well. As always, if you want to, you can give us a little thumbs up and comment below if you changed up any colors, design ideas, or have any suggestions for other Potomac beaters that may be watching. As always, thanks for joining us. Happy holidays. Thank you again to Melissa, and stay tuned for our next inspirational video.